I'm Catherine Blakelock. I've worked all over the world in big business, small business, right down to a bed and breakfast business. And every day I see new regulations. Let's just take the ordinary person. Every time you get on your computer and you go onto a new page, you have to click. Just think of the cumulative times of all those clicks that says, I agree to my data protection. Everybody faces it. But businesses are just being drowned. There's about possibly 183,000 regulations. Both businesses and individuals are breaking something every single day without knowing about it. Let's take just some of the nutty ones and the environmental effect as well as the cost to our country and businesses. You're not allowed to have bendy bananas or bendy cucumbers. Restaurants are not supposed to be filling up their olive oil bottles anymore. These are just little examples. But for bigger businesses, it is a pile of regulations. We can't build houses. And one of the reasons we can't build houses is because we are probably adding something like 50% onto the cost of a house to build it. You need an environmental report. You need a BAT report. You need a structural report. You need a conservation report. You need a roof structure report. And it goes on and on. If you just find a single BAT dropping for just a small house, it can end up costing £5,000. Hours and days of looking for a BAT. And Constantly, we are finding that we can't do business. In addition to that, the EU is so unfair. Let's just take one example of two businesses. A British business called Late Rooms. They're based in the UK. They have to add VAT to their bookings. Booking.com has a nice EU arrangement. So its commission, which is exactly the same as Late Rooms, doesn't pay VAT. And the result, because it's based in the Netherlands and not here, is that everybody goes to booking.com. <laughs> in just the last few years, we've added 55,000 new laws. 55,000. That means everything. When you look around, every single thing is under some EU regulation. It's really funny, you go to Thailand or you go to other places and you say, gosh, it's so cheap. Why is it so cheap? Well, it's cheap because there are less taxes, there's less rules, there's less regulations, and people can actually do business and pass those costs on to consumers. Think of your future, think of your children, think of your country. We can't live on rules and regulations. We have to produce something, we have to eat, and we have to have a future for our children and our country. Now is the time to realise that Brexit means business.